Oh, ha, 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 wow, wow, this has been a powerful morning. Woo! Oh! Come back, microphone. Woo! Oh, oh, how the healing power has been. Long today. It's about what did I expect when I pray for the healing? Oh, it's gonna flow. Oh, I'm gonna learn to believe what God promises. <laughs> he promised the healing power would flow if we would only get under that power and expect it and ask for it and then. Be willing to receive it. Be willing to understand how powerful God is. Oh, you know, you see, we need to learn to be able to truly behold properly the awesomeness of God. We need to understand how awesome the divine mind is. Uh, the intelligent source, the power of this universe, uh, the creator of this universe, uh, the divine intelligence, all powerful, all that almighty intelligence is. And learn how powerful it can be, all oh, that God can move upon this earth, and how powerful he can move in us. And then after you learn that and begin to realize how awesome all that power is, I mean just general power and always the power to send forth love into the world, the power to send forth joy to people and raise people up to be uh, bear, full of all kinds of joy and vitality and stamina and peace and how powerful that is to flow, and what all the powerful good that it can accomplish, and then uh, go, uh, then next to be, come able, truly able, to expect it to flow now when you ask for it. Begin to expect that joy and that peace and that love to flow. And then as you see all of that begin to flow, learn to expect that if you ask for healing, that is going to flow just as powerfully as all the other things flow. Oh, the qualities of God will flow if we learn to truly behold their awesomeness and learn to expect them to flow mightily. We come unto this power with all all and all sense of majesty and all sense of expectation. And then we should not be surprised if all that power begins to flow in our lives. We, we come unto God knowing who he is. Come unto God knowing how much love he has. And knowing that he said that behold, that we were asked to behold the manner of love that the Father has bestowed upon us. That we should be called the sons of God. The sons and daughters of God. That we should be called. That we should be called the sons and daughters of God. We gotta call ourselves the sons and daughters of God. We gotta understand that we're the sons and daughters of God. We gotta understand the power that that gives us. We gotta understand the power that God is willing to blow in us. We gotta understand the power that God is willing to put in us to heal people. We gotta understand how much wondrous, mighty, marvelous power it can begin to blow in us at any time. We have to understand oh, all the energy, all the life, 
all the immortality, all the joy, and all the happiness, and all the love that we're able to flow. We have to understand that it is a divine power, that it is an immortal power, that it is an eternal power, that it is a wonderful power, that it is a, a majestic, mighty, marvelous power. And we need to understand that. And we need to understand that if we're going to flow this healing power, we have to understand how immortal and how majestic and how powerful it really is when it comes out of God and how he, marvelous and majestic he is able to flow it. And then we don't set up that resistance to the flow. You know, we have to just say, I am not going to resist the flow of God. I'm, not, I'm going to accept it in all the power that it is and all the power that it has to flow. I am going to get under that spout when the glory comes out. And I am going to expect glory because after all, it is a glory spout. Oh, after all, it is a glorious God. After all, it is a majestic God. After all, it is a manifold, uh, multifaceted uh, uh, power that God has. And there's not any power that he doesn't have, including healing power. Oh, yes, if we could only understand how marvelous and majestic, I mean, it's universe. The whole universe that is run, that is in, that God has the power to move the planets and the solar systems and the galaxies and set up this mighty universe that he has the power uh, to send the energy forth to keep it all working in order. And he has the energy oh, to raise people up all over the world and give them life and give them power and give them energy. And so he certainly has the power to send forth the healing power from those who, to those who are willing to expect it and to be willing to receive it from uh, their knowledge of the majestic nature of God. So we need to behold and behold and behold with all, with all, with all. The nature of God, the true nature of God, the real nature of God. You know, not the nature that we're guessing or not the nature that somebody told us, but understand and seek and ask to understand the true nature of God. Seek and ask God to reveal to you how much power he really has and ask him to blow that power in you and then expect it to blow. And understand why it flows because of the amount of love God has for us. We need to behold the nature of that love, not just the not just behold the manner of of love that the Father has to, uh, bestowed upon us and He should call us, us the sons of God, but also behold the actual power of that love to do all things. The power that that love has to accomplish everything good. The power that that love has to accomplish every perfect thing, every holy thing, every marvelous thing, every healing thing, every harmonizing thing, everything that is uh, goes to make the vitality force and the power of life flow and the immortality flow and the river of life flow and all that power that he promised would be flowing out of our innermost being when we come to him. Out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water and rivers of living immortal water. <clears throat> and as we understand what is in that water will understand that it has a vast amount of healing power in it. And we are able and promised that we can flow all of that healing power out into the world. Out of our being, out of our awareness, out of our sense of all, out of our sense of majesty of God, we will come to understand that we are able to flow the rivers of living immortal water. 
Oh, it's the power of that healing. The power of that healing is just so, it's just so stunning when you first realize just how much power God has to heal and raise people up. Oh, it just goes on and on and on and on. And it's just been flowing here this morning in such a mighty way. And it has just been lifting me and giving me vitality and energy, bigger and bigger and all types of enjoyment and all types I've been seeing, all types of majestic beauty and all types of majestic understandings and all types of marvelous joy has been flowing, joys that I never would understand could even be in this life until I begin to look into the awesomeness of God and behold the manner of his love and behold the manner of his joy and, and behold what makes it such joy and why it is joy and speak with the full of glory and why when we get under this spout where the glory comes out we can truly expect real glory to flow real power to flow real energy to flow and then we can expect real things to happen if we're going to get under that spout where all that healing power flows, we should expect real healing to take place. We should expect healing to take place in our body. We should expect healing to flow out from us. We should expect healing to be a mighty force, a mighty force containing immortality and containing an immortal flow of power and energy and vitality. We should expect that. We should expect a mighty power to flow from us because God is a mighty power. And we are accepting the fact that we are related to him as his sons and daughters. And that is the and that tells us how much love God has for us that he's willing to share his power with us that he's willing and if he's willing to share all of his power with us then he, we know he's willing to heal us. And so when you begin to get, understand all this, it just becomes so, it just becomes so uh, manifested. Uh, uh, oh, it just becomes so multifaceted, uh, majestic in your mind and in your understanding that it just illuminates everything and makes everything look different to you. Everything begins to look different. You begin to understand things in a much more manifold way. You begin to see all the different aspects of God. You begin to see all the different outflows of God. You begin to see all the different ways God heals people. You begin to see all the different ways God sends energy out into people. You'll be see all the different ways God can raise you up. You'll see all the different ways God can give you joy. And it's not, not just one way that he gives you joy, but it's hundreds and hundreds of different ways he can give you joy. Hundreds of different ways he can heal you. A hundred different ways he can harmonize everything in your life and he's got all of those in that spectrum and all of those in that all of those quivers in his era and in, in, in his uh uh, thing where he carries the quivers and he's able to pull out the quivers and throw them and uh, all of these different things and he's able to pour those all out on you at any time a vast spectrum of, of uh, multifaceted different qualities that he's able to give you and he's able to flow out of you that we never expect and we never understand because we never ask for them and then we never never really realize and never really get them because we never really ask for them or stop and think about what we might be able to expect from God. But we, we need to learn to expect big things from God. To learn to uh, learn to expand our expectations of God and then we make way. Then we enlarge our soul to receive a whole lot more from God. We got to enlarge our soul to receive healing. You know, if, if you're always just saying, well, I, I don't know whether you can be healed or not, or I don't know this person over here says you can't. Oh, this, well, that's not letting your soul expand. You need to get to, along with God and ask God to expand your understanding and expand your awareness of how powerful the healing force is and how much he can heal. And then you'll know what the reality is and you'll be able to go to him and pray for it and expect it to happen. And so I'm going to pray right now. Oh, Father, in the name of thy holy son, Jesus, heal people of every form of cancer right now. Heal people of every form of lung disease, every form of kidney disease. 
Heal them of every form of liberty disease. Heal them of every form of bone disease. Heal them of osteoporosis. Oh, dear God. Oh, just heal them of multiple sclerosis. Heal them of all forms of, of uh, any kind of crippling disease, any kind of rheumatism or arthritis. Raise people up uh, out of all illnesses now and set them on that high mountain where they can see the freedom from all illness. And Lord, now we just pray in the name of our Holy Son, Jesus, free people from all addiction. Free them, oh, dear God from all addiction to cocaine or heroin or fentanyl or any or crack or any of the drugs. Oh, dear God, just heal them of any of the opioids. And, oh, dear God, heal people now of, uh, of uh, nicotine and let them help them to break the cigarette habit. And now we pray that you would just heal people of all forms of depression, all forms of sense, all sense of oppression, all sense of obsession with things of this life and lead them up to a high mountain. We pray in Jesus' name. We pray, amen, amen, amen.